What's up you guys and welcome back to another vlog. Good morning. Um, I just got finished getting ready and I did a no concealer today. I'm trying to see how I like it, see if I like a little bit more of a natural makeup look. I don't know. I don't feel myself, but we're gonna try it out. Just try and get used to it and see what happens. I don't know why, I just was like, you know what? I'm gonna just see what this looks like. Um, even though you know I love my full face of makeup. Anyways, before we hop into today, I wanted to show you guys um, a really beautiful gift idea for the holidays, which is a Victor and Roth fragrance. Um, so I am partnering with them on today's video, which I'm really excited about. And this is their limited edition holiday bottle for their famous fragrance, Flower Bomb, which I'm sure you guys have all heard of. It is a very well-known, popular fragrance that is loved by a lot of people. And I actually have worn Flower Bomb. I've probably had this in my fragrance collection since college. It's such a good one. Me and my girlfriends used to wear it in school. And I always remember one of my girls from uh, fashion school would say that she would always get compliments on boys whenever she would wear Flower Bomb. It was like her signature scent. And the boys love it. So, um here is what the limited edition bottle looks like up close it's so cute has stars on the actual bottle and then this little accessory that attaches to the top which is another star you can actually go on their website and customize your fragrance bottle you can put little um, accessories on it and make it totally customizable to you so if you have someone that loves flower bomb you could either grab the limited edition or if you are ahead of the game and you haven't like you have time before your holiday gifting you could totally customize their fragrance for them it's really hard to explain what fragrances smell like so i'm going to do my best if you've never smelled flower bomb you don't know what it smells like but it's very me and it's a very um kind of signature to me to layer a, a lot of different fragrances and I feel like this fragrance has a lot of like contrasting smells in it which makes it smell really good it's not like too floral it's not too feminine not too masculine so the first notes that are in the fragrance are bergamot and tea which a lot of the fragrances that I actually own have bergamot in it and some sort of like tea note so that makes it kind of you know soft and that really elevated smell that it's kind of like a tea scent i can't really describe it other than that next is obviously some floral undertones which makes it smell kind of sparkly and bright but not overly floral where it i don't know where it gets too like potent i just it's like a soft floral that is lastly masked with like wooden scents and that kind of like musky patchouli um and all the three mixed together it's kind of like a more like masculine floral girly scent to me which is exactly what i like i don't any like anything super overly feminine but it's obviously really girly so i also love the way that it warms up with my like body chemistry and it like obviously smells different on everybody but oh it smells so good i just love it so much um and it's a really good fragrance if you want to get somebody a fragrance you're not sure what they'll like i feel like it's popular among a lot of people if you guys want to check out the limited edition holiday bottle from victor and Rolf fragrances i will have it linked down below so you guys can check that out get it a lot at a lot of your favorite retailers they also make two other flower bomb scents in the family one is flower bomb midnight flower bomb midnight is a little bit even deeper kind of woodier um and i think it comes in a black bottle so if you like more of that direction and then flower bomb dew is kind of their like softer version of the scent and also smells really amazing so check them all out um but i'll have it linked below great gift idea i am all ready for the day um and i am actually getting a little bit hot sitting here in the sweater because i'm in the sun right now so i might change it's actually somewhat nice outside so maybe i'm gonna change in a second um lighting's just coming in <laughs> Alrighty, people welcome back to another vlog another vlog 
We have a fun, fun day today. We're so excited. A fun, fun, fun one. We are going back to our college town, Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, context. Then we work out this morning at F45. We mm -hmm. did an 8 a.m. class. We're really sore. We went home and made a breakfast burrito mm -hmm. or breakfast tacos. And now we are here in the city of Fort Worth where we went to college, where we met, uh, where we fell in love. Where right. I think there's a football there's game a football today, game. so we might, we'll see how busy it is over there. We went to TCU. Yeah. If you are local to Texas and watching this. Um, but we're also, we, it's like an hour, what is it, hour and a half drive? Hour 15 away. Hour and 15 from where we live currently. So we were listening to the Joe Rogan Kanye West podcast episode and it's absolutely fascinating. It's very interesting. Yeah. A little hard to follow, but if you are interested, highly recommend. Yeah, it's good. I, I'm finding it very interesting. No, it really, it really is. I, I am too. It's like not hard to follow necessarily for me. But it's just like his thoughts are all over the place. They're all over the place, but it makes sense. Like if you can just track with it, you know, really. I want really. him to expand on certain topics. He brushes, yeah, I like, think Joe's trying to. He brushes over certain things and yeah. like I want him to dive deeper into like how the music industry screwed up totally. and like stuff like that. But that might just be because I'm interested in music. One of the reasons we came to Fort Worth besides just we wanted to have a Fort Worth day yep. is we are doing our master bathroom and bedroom renovations yep. and we have a couple pieces we're looking for and so we wanted to come to a place that is in fort worth or outside of fort worth called mm -hmm. simple things simple things furniture which actually one of you guys told us about it's an interior store in fort worth and you said it was so our vibe a I think couple months ago. I think y'all said it was similar to Summer, Summer House, House in Mill Valley, the place we showed up before in California that we really like. Yeah. It also kind of, from the outside, kind of gives me um, Big Daddy's vibes. Exactly. So, should be pretty We're cool. That. We're excited to dive in. Yeah. And I think it's a lot of vintage stuff. So And excited. stuff from Bali, imported vintage, stuff from Indonesia, new, all kinds of stuff like that. Rugs. So, so we're gonna go in and, and shop and we will bring you along. We'll show you all the fabulous things. We have never been in it, so we're really excited. And then we're gonna and hang then out we're for gonna, yeah, hang And out. then go to dinner at Joti Garcia's. Oh, that's our favorite sure. fajita restaurant. So, Anywho, let's, get, to let's it. get into the vlog. Let's dive in and let's go furniture shopping. We need our masks. We need coffee. I know, I was kinda getting Let's tired. get a coffee after this. Okay. You wanna go to that place on Magnolia Street? Sure. All right. Oh, I'm about to mess up my makeup. Alrighty, this is gonna be great. I'm excited to be wow. here. I feel like when we go interior shopping, you and I, it's like a hit of like drugs. Like I, I, I like. I know. Whether we buy stuff, it or just not, hits different. I get inspired in there too. So inspired. Let's I'm do getting it. inspired by Kanye. I'm like, let's fucking do shit. All right, should we bring the camera? Should yeah. we bring them with us? I don't think so. Shut up. Okay, come on. So this warehouse, it's called Simple Things. This furniture store. It's out in the middle, kind of of nowhere, outside of Fort Worth. But let's dive on in. Okay, I think this is actually better. This is very similar to the one I found at Arhaus. It was like one of a kind at Arhaus, but this one's longer and a little bit thinner and more narrow, which is what we need. So this one's better than the one I found uh, and could work perfectly. We gotta get the right measurements. So we're gonna check to see if it would even fit. Okay, Hunter's looking up some measurements, but you guys, I'm freaking out. Their prices are so good. I mean, these are like vintage rugs for 1200 which okay i know that's a lot for a rug but if you have explored the world of vintage rugs they are so expensive like this would be five thousand dollars so 1200 in comparison is really good um and one other thing i mean all the rugs are so cute i definitely want to look for one while we're here hunter and i have been thinking of possibly doing new nightstands and these are a little bit traditional for my taste but i feel like they're kind of cool sometimes we like to mix a little more traditional pieces in or we're wanting to it makes it feel a little bit cozier and these are so unique like look at them a little bit bigger half moon shape i don't know i kind of like them um and let's see 1290 for the pair okay i'm telling you guys it's pretty good for you know nice vintage furniture so i don't know i do like that vibe could be a possible nightstand option what do you guys think um i don't expect you to see the vision but i 
could look really good. So this store is amazing. I just love this stuff. This would be my dream to have a store like this one day where you mix vintage with new and textiles and art and all sorts of home stuff. Just be amazing. Um, how gorgeous are these? I need a little, oh, this one. <gasps> look at this rug. Wow, and this freaking coffee table. Oh my God, it's all so good. That's cute. Okay, let's look at the price on this one. Nine by 12. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I think that's opening is 97 inches. Really? Yeah. So that would be a little bit big. Be four inches too big. No. Be nine inches too wide. Shoot. Okay. These are cool. Lamps. Oh, I thought they did that. This is really cool. Love that. Okay. What do you think about those nightstands? I like them. Like, I like that they have a black top. I feel like yeah. that could really add a piece to the room. That's what I think. I don't like the bottom of it. To me, yeah, too the, traditional. The wood, it seems like it's like cheap. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not cheap, I don't know if that's the right word, word, but I don't like when wood is made to look like it's old, mm -hmm. like fake antique. I yeah, don't like you want it Either to like be modern actually. real wood, like right. sleek, or antique. I feel you. Sleek okay. or antique. Sleek or antique. Not fake. Okay. I get it, I get it. I like this one, Hunter. We've been needing, I want, been wanting a nice vintage rug for our bedroom. And this is nice and neutral. Really pretty. Gorgeous. Hey, what does this kind of reminds you of my dried hydrangeas? They're real, but they're dried, yeah. Mine are fake, but. Um, I was thinking this is a good dupe for the bench we have in the entryway. Yeah. Um, if someone's like looking to. Totally. A good bench. It's like yeah. nice. It's cute. It's really like cute. a different look. It's a little bit thinner, but it could be really good with like a yeah. couple pillows, maybe like a, a big mirror leaned up against it. Exactly, like behind it. You can see those two mirrors in there. Right. Yeah, did you see that table? Yeah, it's Table is sick. Yeah. This carpet is really pretty too. Oh, like, do we even have a wall big enough for this thing? I mean, these rugs are amazing. No, we don't have a wall big enough for that. Someday. But so big. Saying, what if we go bigger on our mirrors above our nightstands? And move those mirrors that are in our above our nightstands right now. Yeah. Move them into the uh, bathroom. Bathroom. Definitely possible. Or do this for the bathroom. Like two big square mirrors. That's a cute mirror. Also, I think we should go. And, I think we should get bigger um, cutting boards. Cutting boards. Like those ones we have on the counter. One of them's real, and one of them's. Fake yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. Look at all the rugs. I flipped through them, but if you I'll want to show them. This is your flooring. I know. They're all, wait, what's the size of this? They have like so many runners. All different colors. How pretty. Isn't that cool? Those are cool up there. They're just like plain colored. Yeah. We definitely want a runner for the, um, the kitchen. That's too dark. I know, it's really hard. We have to go brighter because our kitchen, our floor is so it's dark so in dark. there. I know, but you, I just don't want everything to be white. I don't think that looks good either. Well, they're getting a big note pad with an H yeah, on with it. Yeah, with an H on it. Havens. How cute is that? Like you definitely want a patterned one. Gives the vibe. That's more of like a textile like tapestry. Versus I think the ones on the bottom are more like rugs, you know? Yeah, but like I feel like one of these could be kind of cool. Or like a little bit of yellow will add some like hominess. Yeah. I just don't think that's the right material, but as you're saying. This is cool. That's kind of a cool idea. Like a log. 
what it's like cut nicely and cleaned up a little bit. Some yarn. There was also a bowl full of ma of candlesticks. Oh, it was I saw that. really it's cool. cool like thin yeah, I also love this greenery. It's actually real. And this actually makes me have more respect for our light fixture in our bedroom, even though I don't like it. But um, what a bit of greenery can do. Can literally be in any vessel, anything. Actually, like the less perfect, the better. I also like the one over there, but there's some people there, so watch me in a second. But so this is cool. I've actually have not seen this at another vintage place, but I think you literally can pick any fabric and like turn it into a pillow or reupholster anything. So you could like pick out all your fabrics and make different pillows, however much there is, but I don't know if they just collect these fabrics from somewhere or if these are just the samples. It's really cool though. More cute, pretty greenery. This is all real, so I think they just literally cut this off of things. So pretty. Here's the other base I was talking about. It's really just different. I don't know. I mean, this isn't totally our style to a T, but it definitely has some cool elements about it. Like this is like an old chapel that they put in the center of the store, which is really cool. I mean, obviously you wouldn't do that in your house, maybe. It could be like your little dining room, <laughs> that'd be cool. Vintage cutting board is awesome. Good size, $3.99. Okay, that's pretty expensive, so. Not necessarily a good price, I would say, but really pretty. More cute runners. Oh, and here is the um, the candlesticks that they filled this bowl with. How different is that? I don't know. I like it. I like this little setup. You could put like your bath products on here. Y'all know I like, really like grand things, and like if we had a space for these two doors, I would probably totally get them. They're so sweet. Whether well, it's like an entry to a property, or like if you have a big great room, like put those on slider mechanisms where they slide out be really cool i also really love this it, like if you use as a bookshelf it's for a butler's pantry it's really cool for like a bookshelf They're really unique so i came across this little sign it says linen bath towels yes that's a thing stonewash linen super absorbent antibacterial and doesn't take up space love and that. Really unique concept. We kind of I think we get the matching. It. I think those two will I look really great. Those two, wait, should we get like a stack of four? Maybe a plain Maybe white. Maybe those, yeah, those, that one, and then there's a white one on the bottom. But those stripey ones are cool. Is there more to choose from? No, that's it. Okay, let's just get on four of these, and then we could, we have our new bathroom, we could stack them. Like we could hang them from hooks. These could be the mm -hmm. ones that we hang from hooks when they You got bathroom. two base, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, we'll just layer them with the white. Perfect. You know what? Might as well get a pack of these. Yeah, for the guest bathroom. Yeah, these are mini hand towels. Then to replace the ones that Julia laughed at me with. <laughs> the ones from Target. I Walmart. actually really like those. I know, right? I was so wrong on that. Oh, that you makes guys, me so satisfied. Nobody liked my dried hydrangeas in the fall decor video, but they're everywhere. I'm telling you, they're the shit, and no one knows it. If we get new nightstands for our better renovation we want to go with something like that width obviously not that height or uh that style but definitely that width is good this is so in line with our fall decor on our on our, <laughs> our um centerpiece of our yeah, coffee table it just went wrong a little bit it Sounds did like it just went a little too far mm -hmm. i think these are towel are these bath towels you think they're kitchen towels What do you think those they are? are? Those are for sure like little bath, bath rags. towels. Like, aren't those really nice to hang on the hooks? Those are really pretty. I it's know. Color. Or like these ones are really pretty too. And they're like nice. That color's good too. I like that I one. I know, but since we're gonna be all white, I thought this one might look pretty. I know, but this is not white. That's true. That's true. This is the inverse. Right. Right. And this can brighten up the room a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that is really cool. What a great idea for a centerpiece in this rug. I think this would be the one I would go for. How cute would it be if you had like a little desk like that? I know. Just like a simple. Okay, we are back on campus and we're driving around. There's a new coffee shop, so we're gonna go walk to it. And I want to get some TCU merch because there's um all my. I kept like a bunch of my shirts from college, but I've it's been. 
How many years have we been graduated? When did we graduate? Uh, 14? Yeah. So it's been six years since you, we graduated. So a lot of the shirts that I had in college, I kept washing and wearing and like uh, sleeping in and stuff. They like got so tattered um, from like six years of washing that I'm like, okay, I gotta throw them out. So a lot of them I've had to throw away. So I wanna get some new merch to represent our college. Let us know, are there any horned frogs currently that it's watch cool. the channel? It's Let cool us know. back on campus. So cool. This is here. This is like, this is like this is our so life. many good memories. You know, God, we, we spent so much time together here. So After much we time. Met, like a full two years, just like holding hands every day. We were literally <laughs> obsessed. We didn't we spend a waking moment apart. We besides still going to class, we still don't. We still don't. <laughs> Something I remember like, I, I didn't really skip much class, but the times I did, it was because like, I wanted to keep hanging out. Like we were hanging out and like, we were in the like middle of hanging out. Yeah. Or talking and I'd be like, I don't care if like, I miss class, I want to keep this conversation going. I know, and I wouldn't. I like loved class, so I'm like, I'm gonna miss some class. I loved going to class. It was my favorite yeah, thing. I would actually movie. pay to like take classes again. Like I would study something so I'd go back to school because like, I think it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. Like I love studying and what? Yeah, we're gonna get some shirts, a hoodie maybe. I gotta represent my college, you know? It's a must. It's a must. And it's a uh, football, there's a football game going right now so there's not very many people around so it's kinda good. We can really explore. Hi. Yes. Yay! Oh, I just li I'm living for this. The spark on. We should take a picture by Frog Fountain. Hell mm. yeah. Yes, we are. By my request. Okay. Do you think I need my jacket? No. Leave it off. I mean, you don't need it, but it looks cute. I mean, I yeah, I don't want to get hot though. You can hear it. Okay. I think we're good. Living. This is the bookstore. I would study here all the time. And we'd... And Hunter would distract me. So this is a coffee shop we've never been to before. I think it must be newer. This wasn't here, but it's chic. Yeah, what'd you get? A lavender and a latte. Nice. I got something called oh, a snickerdoodle, God. which is like cinnamon, white mocha, Did you and get espresso. Milk? I got oat milk. I got almond. Can you believe that? Yeah. I can't believe it. I can do it in latte form. It's really yeah, cute. Like really so cute little good. coffee Wait, shop. Wait, we should get some other espresso beans. All right, shopping for some merch. Gotta get some stuff. We got cute stuff. It's like Patagonia. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the classic hoodie. They have crew necks too, but I think the hoodie would be really cute. Oh, so I think I'm gonna get that in a large. We're in um, Dutch's, which is a place it's we probably, would literally it's come it's once a week. probably my favorite burger. Yeah, like, ever. Truly, it's my favorite burger. It's Hawaiian bread. Yeah. So I don't know, it's really good. And then after we graduated, they added this bar section. Yeah. And then now, in recent, in the past like year or so, they added the burrito bar next door. Right. Um, so Hunter got to order of fries. And we can maybe go eat the fries with the fountain. Yeah, it's perfect. That's what I was thinking. We'll show you guys Frog Fountain and where we used to live. All right, we are walking through campus. Wow. They have a great story time. So I was in that class my advertising class and when I was in college my uh, roommates had a party at our apartment and some of my jewelry got stolen it was like some bracelets that my mom had bought me and like oh, I forgot about this story. really nice bracelets right so I'm sitting in class with some of my girlfriends and um, in the advertising class over there and this girl raises her hand and she's wearing my bracelets and I was like those like the, the are my the it's exact, like the exact ones. stack. Literally the so. exact stack. Like you know your jewelry, and especially when it's unique and like it was literally the exact three that and were she missing. Was at the party. And she was at the party. She was my roommate's little, believe it or not, from her sorority. And I saw the bracelets and my heart sank. I was literally sitting behind her in class and I was like, oh, there they are. And my friend confronted her at the bar, Rachel did. Mm -hmm. She goes, she's like, Yes, give those bracelets back. And I was like, oh my god. I'm so, I'm so uncomfortable. Uh, she denied the whole thing and never oh, owned man. up to it, but so I know. So funny. So we're walking through now. Oh, and I had a, what class was here? Sandler Hall. Is this where, this was, was my class? history class. That's, oh yeah, this is this where was, my history class was too. Yeah, you're, this is supposed to be the history building. Yeah, yeah. European history. And then I had a math class around here somewhere too. 
Yeah, my my ballet class was in the dance and kind of like athletic-ish building area. Where was that? Over there. Monkey? Remember, you'd pick me up at the edge, and was I'd it, be it in my Moncrief. ballet shoes. Where's Moncrief? Moncrief is over here. Right Down there. You know, one of the first buildings I so ever visited was Moncrief. It was Hold before I burning. transferred in. I was hanging out with the football players. Oh, yeah. And that was the athletic dorm. That's funny. And so my first few visits was like hanging out at Moncrief. That's funny. It's weird how we both, ironically, I don't know if we've ever told anyone this. Well, you might have known, but Hunter and I both transferred into TCU. And then we lived the in same, the exact we same. We transferred in the same year. The same year. We lived in the same apartment building on the same floor for a full year. And we never met. Never met for a full never year. Never crossed paths. Never. And that was probably my crazier year, like of college, like my party year. Yeah. So and I'm, actually, was, I'm actually really glad we didn't meet that year. And I was in a long distance relationship. And then we met the following year after I was like. Do not recommend that taking school and football a little bit more serious and wasn't partying as much. Mm -hmm. And I was probably at a much more stable and responsible state when I met her. Yeah. But yet still not, not as responsible as she made me we once we met. We were both a little bit of a mess, but you know, who isn't yeah. in college? <laughs> we had fun though, after we met. Yeah, look at us now. Yeah. No drink November. <laughs> I know. Drinking, drinking coffee. <laughs> Just drinking coffee, no alcohol. So now we're approaching Frog Fountain, which is the iconic TCU courtyard with the fountain. I want to fix my hair, but I can't. Okay, hair. No, it's okay. <laughs> take it. I'll fix it in a second. Okay. I'll actually take it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's so cute. Oh, there's the about fountain. Be, they're about to take a graduation picture. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we Everyone won't. takes their picture, their graduation pictures in front. Look at the courtyard. Oh, we get this stunning, like, courtyard, you guys. So pretty. So this is, like, the main part of campus. There's that fountain we were just at, and then these are all dorm rooms all the way around. And then at the very end is the cafeteria. But you have all these dorm rooms, and you have Carter Hall, which is where Julia lived. Her junior year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, junior year. And yeah. yeah, your junior year she lived here, and it was, she was on the third floor, and that was her room right there. That was the living room, and she had a roommate there, a roommate there, a roommate there, and then she was that room right there. And then I lived, I lived off campus. Um, and then she eventually moved off campus as well. Of course, you would never, you would never go with the, the current. <laughs> well, because I transferred in, and I was a, uh, I live with like football players right off. Yeah, back, yeah, no, that makes sense. We're eating our French fries, the sign of rape stressing. I put on my hoodie. Now I see why parents get like so dorky and excited mm -hmm. about college, because when you're so passionate, if your kids go to the same one, you're like, oh my god. How fun would it be to sit here and watch everyone come out? Such good people watching. A lot of people are coming out right now. Is it halftime? Oh, it might be halftime. Weird, they don't look drunk. I feel like that's what... <laughs> I have another funny story about that I could give. I had some crazy roommates. Okay, so then, in that dorm right there, this girl, that I roomed with, shall uh, remain nameless. She's a great girl, it's just a funny story. Funny story. She um, was hooking up with this guy that, I think in the end, was like messing around with her and like wouldn't commit to being her boyfriend, but. Yeah, but they were pretty much together. They were pretty much together. They would like, every time they would drink, they would hook up. And um, they were hooking up one night I wasn't there. In the living room. In the living They'd always room. do it like in the living room and stuff. And I think they were like very intoxicated and getting a little aggressive, rowdy, yeah. rowdy maybe. And she hit her head on the back of that glass right there and it started bleeding. Her so head was, was bleeding. Blood on the window when we woke up. We were like, what the, he what what the, the heck? hell? What is this blood? And she told us and we were like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so we had to clean it up. But. Mm -hmm funny story she had like a gash on her head mm -hmm. the next morning mm -hmm. college when Julie and I met we would stay up you move this so I can <laughs> we didn't hook up for a while when we first met we waited quite a while I would say not as long as I'd like to have waited but the first like two weeks that we knew each other we would stay up till like four in the morning mm -hmm. or five in the morning just chatting 
And we'd, we'd stay at each other's place. Like I would sleep in her bed here. Cause you were living here when we met. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I would stay here and we'd talk till like five in the morning and then go to sleep and wake up for class. I remember you would never want to stay at my dorm though cause it like, it was smaller and like, obviously you had a house. Or a house. And I was always sad about that cause I feel like I never stay in my dorm. We did though. I feel like we did. Really ever. Really? Mm -hmm. I guess we did a lot early on. Yeah. But I think we also had more privacy at my at my house because it was just me and another guy. Mm-hmm. And you had four roommates in a small place. A bulk. <laughs> a dainty bulk. Uh. But Oh students coming through. We would yeah. we'd stay up late and just chat. Yeah. And so the first like two or three weeks that we knew each other, we really got to know each other. Oh yeah. Like, quite well. We still do that like a lot. Like Hunter and I, I think that's probably one of the foundations of our relationship is that we're just like such we have so much in common and like mm -hmm. we can talk and like shoot the shit forever. Deep and I feel down. like no matter what, even like if anything were to ever separate us, like I feel like we would always just like be able to chat. We would always be friends and we would always be friends. Oh yeah, be friends done. I mean, I'm not saying like, like that. We're all, we're never going to be apart, but like... We're committed. Till we the just end. have like a very strong No matter how much she annoys base. me or how much she bothers me or pesters me, I will always... He's describing my life. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. These are so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got a safe room. These fries are good, but the nothing bird. compared to their burger. Oh, no. That burger is so good. Mm-hmm. Burger is amazing. It's the mustard. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the lettuce. Mm -hmm. It's like the shredded lettuce. So good. It's so good. That's also the first place I ate at when I came to visit campus. Was Dutch. Dutch really? Who did you come here to visit with? Did you come by yourself? Matt Brown. You came alone? You guys didn't come? Yeah. I came by myself. But I, I decided to come here before I even visited. Oh really? You hadn't never seen it? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. How did you know? Yeah, I just knew it was a good school. You had a feeling your wifey was here? Maybe. Destiny. It was, huh? I almost didn't come here either, you guys. I had a scholarship to UT, University of Texas at Austin. And SMU, I was accepted into SMU as well. And I went to UT for the orientation, okay? This and is wild. I went to orientation. I was literally like looking at dorms. I was getting like set up and everything. And then I was like, you know what? I was like, something doesn't feel right about this. And I looked at my mom and I'm like, it's just not it. Like I can just feel it and I'm here. I know we're at orientation, but like I can't do it. And I was like, is it too late to do the TC thing? Cause I got an academic scholarship here. And she was like, no, like do whatever you want. And it came to TCU. How weird is that? Mm -hmm. Destiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's crazy is when she went to visit UT in Austin with her dad, I was living and working in Austin. And she stayed at the hotel that I was mm -hmm. valet parking at. And we're almost certain, it was like she came while I was working for sure. Yeah. And we're almost certain that like I parked her car a, like, oh, yeah. a good year and a half before I met her. Almost 100% sure. But it's wild. So wild. God, who was I even? We have good stories. Who was I then? Gosh, I, I don't know. Who are you? Isn't it so weird to think when you're so young, you're like, I'm just, I, it's weird to think you have some access to so much at mm -hmm. such a young age and you're like, I'm such an idiot. Idiot. Like, even looking back, Hunter and I were just saying when we were coming into campus, like, we just wish we had like taken more like advantage of college more and like had more fun. Mm -hmm. Not that we, I mean it was so fun, but like I just feel like when you're in college, you're just kind of lost and you're so young and you well, just like aren't really in, come into yourself yet. And I don't know. Well, we'd probably be the same way now. My whole we'd probably just like do our YouTube channel and keep to ourselves. I know, but my whole senior <laughs> year though, or our whole senior year, I was so focused on like finding a job. I interviewed at. Oh yeah, I remember that. I was interviewing nonstop the whole year, like interviewing, just interviewing. Yeah. Interviewing. It was good practice, but you're getting ready. But then I interviewed at like what was the number? Like fifty something. So many interviews, but we were just like ready. Like Hunter and I were always at like early on, just like ready to get in the world and like 
work and I don't know why that was the second we are but now looking back we're like we wish we would have just really embraced college and would have like you know joined more like clubs and like hung out with more people and just like enjoyed it and had fun kind of like but capitalized on the moment took advantage drink of the being, Kool-Aid a little yeah, bit exactly. drink the Kool-Aid. That's the yeah because it's fun you know yeah. but we're very much like don't go with the grade usually so but now we're here we're almost 30 Oh, college. <laughs> Can we go back? <laughs> cute, super cute. Wow. Now my little cousin goes here. He goes here. He's on full scholarship as a pitcher. He's a freshman, and yeah, he's like perfect for here. Perfect. He's probably loving it. Super. What a good time to be a freshman at TCU. Yeah, great time. Well, besides COVID, that has yeah. to be a little bit weird, but. Okay, we're gonna get my pick by Front Fountain for um, we lose all of our life. I think we already lost it. Oh, <gasps> no, man. let's go. Let's go. Oh, darn. We're gonna get our pick. I have a wedgie. Oh. Any final words before we leave? Enjoy your youth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it now. It gets better. The fountain, fountain of youth. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. If you're in college, live it up to the fullest. Just appreciate it. No stress. It's no so pressure. Fun. Yeah. Don't worry about jobs. Focus on your schoolwork. Have fun because you have the rest of your life to be serious and be an adult and enjoy. Go. And if you're a sophomore or junior in college, or maybe even a freshman, or even maybe before college, like start yeah. planning for study abroad. Yes. Our biggest regret. Study abroad. Our biggest regret oh, is biggest not regret. studying abroad. It obviously wasn't in our plan, but yeah. like we think it should be. So go yeah. after go it. Go do you it. Know? Go yeah. do it if you have the desire. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't. Start thinking about it. Yeah. All right. All right. We are home. It took me a second. And I have a little sweet tooth, so we're gonna make some sweet Lorenz. And that was just a great day. Very feel good day, I have to say. Something about reminiscing in good memories and it brings a lot of joy. So, here. Yummies. There's only two cookies left in here. We ate the whole pack this week. We ate all of these. So we're gonna make some cookies. Round out the evening. Goose is eating his dinner. Funny fun fact about Goose is that he will only eat when we are here. So yeah. we could leave food in his bowl. Actually, sometimes if he's hungry and we get home really late. He will eat, but for the most part, he, he will wait till we will. walk in the door to eat his food. He won't eat it when we're on. 99% of the time, mm -hmm. he only eats when we're here. Yep. That's phony, Skis. Skis, you're so, phony. That's so super phony. It was a good day. That's what I said. I thought so too. I had fun. Wasn't it like. Hope y'all had fun. It was like happy. Yeah, it was good. That was probably like the happiest day I've had in a long time. It was good. It was just like very Relaxed, pure. Pure. Free. Yeah. Nice. I like it. I, have fun. I love you. Me too. Really Alright y'all. So that's the end of the day. I hope you guys did. That was a fun vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how much we actually vlogged or showed. A little home decor shopping mm. and walk down memory lane. Good story times I thought. Yeah. I'm Ty Ty. So and it's only like 8 30. So I know. Good. Or it's 9. So good. Or it's Nothing more satisfying than getting we can, in bed early. We can get in bed in like 10 minutes. I think I'm cookies. dehydrated. So I think Wash our face. Mm -hmm. hop, in, uh, hop in bed. Thanks for watching. We love you and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.